what's up everybody um, today I'm just doing a quick video to show a plugin called Melodyne um, basically a machine and using it for time stretching since obviously machine doesn't have a time stretch at the moment um, yeah I had a few people ask just basically how it integrates uh, it's really good I like it there's also a, a plugin version which I'm not showing here but um, it works pretty much the same I just like uh, being able to play separately um, through the through the Melodyne application rather than just through the plugin because uh, the transport works slightly differently but anyways whatever let's see uh, what it's all about all right so um, first thing I'll just show you the sample and what I'm trying to do with it so basically what I'm trying to do is get that to play um, over a beat that's 90 beats per minute so I'm just gonna quickly throw a, uh, a snare over this Over this pattern and then that way we can just kind of hear it here it, to uh, get the tempo the timing whatever for it um, sure let's try this okay that's loud I'll just turn that down all right that's all we really need there so I'm just gonna throw a pattern in I'm gonna make it two bars Paint that. So now when I play it, we hear the sample. Much faster, obviously. That's kind of why we're doing this. So uh, first thing I'm going to do with the sample too, um, just just because if you notice, it's uh, most of the samples coming out of the left channel. I'm gonna put on a uh, plugin called Mono Maker. I've mentioned this, I think, uh, before in a video, uh, but it's a great plugin. Audio Unit was the only one that worked for me, not the VST. So let's load up the interface for it. And everything was on the left channel, so we're just gonna go um, left, left there, right uh, over here. You can also use the mouse, apparently. And this way, when I play it back. The same, just the left channel coming out of both sides. It's changed also in machine, so it's not just an actual like a an audible change. It's a real change in the uh, how the software reads it. So now on to the important business. We're gonna load up um, Melodyne now or the Melodyne Bridge, and get out of browse mode. And you'll see when you actually load up the interface for Melodyne, it'll actually load up the program down here as well. So there we go. So there's Melodyne, and you'll see in Machine itself, we have the bridge. Yeah, waiting for audio. All right, great. Hopefully that's not a problem. Anyways, uh, like I said, I've only used this for a day, so when I show you all the features, it's pretty much the basics. It's pretty deep. It also, Melodyne also does things like uh, pitch correction, um, so like auto-tune, that sort of stuff. But there's tons of videos out there for that. Look one of those up if you're interested in that aspect of it. Um... All right, so basically let's get to it. So in Melodyne, you basically want to hit transfer. That's going to transfer the audio, basically make Melodyne record or arm for recording. Uh, so a machine has to be playing. So when machine's playing, whether there's sound coming out, like those snares or not, doesn't matter, but machine has to be actually playing. So you can go to an empty scene if you don't want to hear anything. For me, it doesn't matter. Um, Melodyne's only on the sound, so it's only recording whatever the sound's playing, regardless of all the background noises. Um, what's nice too is you can put it over the whole group so if you wanted to play from a few different pads you could put Melodyne on the group transfer the whole group over so uh, let's get to that quickly um, I'll show you how it works when you press play in machine you'll see Melodyne oops I shouldn't have been transferring there my bad uh, let's just undo that um, so you'll see it'll just keep keep playing from there let me make sure I'm not uh, transferring still good so it'll just keep playing from the six if I hit restart it'll always go back to the start point there so that's a good thing to know um, so basically yeah, just use restart a fair bit to get it to play instead of using the actual Melodyne so back to this transfer I'll just look at the Melodyne screen but I'm basically just gonna hit restart and play the sample so stop machine Boom, perfect. So I'm just gonna delete these last two segments here. Uh, apparently everything 
this is what's really nice too just command Z Z um, and you can reset or undo oh I'm just zoom down here okay so I'll make sure I have nothing selected so I'm just gonna hit delete delete that section and this because that's where my new sample starts uh, to zoom in in this it's uh, uh, a Mac anyhow command option and just click and drag there we go so that gets rid of that this should just be my clean loop so I'm gonna select it all right now just to basically get it back to the start point so when I hit restart I want to be able to hear this off the bat oh, oh yes right of course and um, in Melodyne here you got to change there's different types of modes um, this one here is move move cursor if you just hold it it'll show you what things are amplitude uh, pitch and then select does it all so I just click and drag I'm gonna drag that back to the start and then if you uh, let's see if it, what it thinks if you double click it'll get put things where it thinks they should be so it kind of lines them up sort of quantizing but this one put everything you know based on transients where it thinks it should be so let's hear what it sounds like now when I play it oh it's gonna stop a little short too because this isn't going for the full right two bars like my uh, pattern is <laughs> So still obviously really short. So what we're going to do is we need to select tool. Um, everything's already selected. I didn't need to do that. But basically wait for this icon here. That's the stretch icon. And now we're just going to stretch this whole thing out so that it goes right to two bars. And go back to the move tool. And I see again that little outline shows that that's where it thinks it should be. Hit like that. Let's see what happens now. Whatever, you just re hit restart. That easy, like that's crazy. Um, but no, it's uh, Melodyne is really nice for that. Um, there's a lot, like I said, a lot more things you can do with it. Um, let me just quickly get this the sound back into machine, and then uh, we'll mess around with it a bit. So to get back into machine, uh, it's as simple as just internal recording, um, or sorry, internal sampling. Most people. Well, I shouldn't say most, whatever. A lot of people know how to do that. If you don't, get used to it because it's really handy to know how to do. Uh, we're just going to hit sample. Um, and then instead of being the external plugin or whatever, which I have nothing plugged into right now, we're going to change it to internal. That's going to sample the machine sounds. And only the sounds from group A. That way I don't get the snare from group E. Um, so when I play back, basically whatever I play back in this too, whether I'm changing the pitch on like just messing around with it while it's playing back, that'll all get recorded back in here. So you'll see when I hit this button, it's going to trigger off the, uh, basically make a, a sounds. Okay. So I'm just going to get over here. We're going to set you ready to sample. Now I don't have to worry about the counter or nothing like that. So I'm just going to play this out. Oh, sorry. Not from the pad, um, straight from, uh, so just hit restart. It'll start, uh, my melodyne. And then just hit stop at the end of that. And then on this pad now I now have All right. And what I'll do now just to for one last quick example is I'll make this pattern two bars and I'm just gonna paint it with this drag it out and of course you could one shot the sample once you trimmed it if you need it but uh, I'm just going to do it this way sorry it was so loud at the start there because it was playing um, both versions over top of itself okay so I just want to show a couple other things here with uh, Melodyne um, basically you can these are your detection modes you can change um, you know polyphonic for different you know if there's a bunch of different sounds different instruments whatever um, percussive I guess would be for you know drums that sort of thing is the best mode for that one and then melodic this one breaks it down by uh, note values and um, you know different keys uh, what's nice is you can change the uh, put on scale snap and this will actually snap all of your notes to the scale so if it's in you know whatever C major it'll go through and only it'll skip ahead so right 
And uh, this nice too is, you know, if, if you do, if you're playing around with it like this or something, you hear a noise or you make something in some way like on the fly that, you know, you really like, you can, of course, just sample that to machine. You know, it doesn't have to be like get things perfect and then sample. You can sample while you're doing it just to different pads, whatever you got to do. Um, so this is your like note cut. So let's actually, let's go back here to, let's say, percussive. And you can basically, because as at right now, if I were to, you know, to stretch one of these segments, you know, see it pulls into that only this one here, right? If I were to select all of these ones, let's say, and then drag this one, or sorry, bad example, let's do it this way. Select all these ones and then drag them back. Right, they all compress stretching only the one. Instead of these two compressing, or this one just compressing into this one, it drags them all and they all compress into the last selected one. So I could do the same for these ones here and it would just stretch those only in that note. So that's one way to do it. If you need to insert you know, more of those, double click there and then you can start adding your own. So if you want it to like be right on the, the transients, if it doesn't do that properly for you, you can do it just like that. Um, let's see what else is useful to know here. Um, in this version, you can show the arrangement and you'll see you actually have everything on different tracks. So if you're doing melodies, whatever the case is, um, you know, especially for vocals, that's probably pretty useful. But, um, you know, for the most parts, I just use this to record a quick thing in there, stretch it out what I need to, and then bounce it back to the machine. And then, you know, what's nice is whatever, whatever you record into this, whether it has effects on it and things, it stays recorded and records back that way. So I um, can discard that, but now I can actually go back here and uh you know i don't need these anymore so i can get rid of these these plugins uh oops so we both of those just erasing those plugins so now they're gone i go back into or this pad it's still you know it's the same thing exact same note so you don't have to keep using resources for those so um that's pretty much in a nutshell all i wanted to show for melodyne uh really great uh it's a great, great, great uh, software there. Good plug-in for time stretch in machine. Works well. It's not real time, but, you know, it's pretty damn close, and it's a sweet interface. So um, check it out if you like it. If you have any questions about it or anything I didn't touch on that you wanted to hear about, uh, let me know. I'll try to answer it. Like I said, I've only had it for a couple of days, so I'm still learning as I go along. All right? Peace.